Good morning. This is the great KBC just in time for this special edition of Mashuja Day. Well, it's all systems go for the Mashuja 60th Mashuja Day, I should say. Welcome. My name is Bentro Njue. The We are live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi and we are also live from the Kericho Green Stadium, the host of this year's Mashuja Day. And uh, the, actually the Mashuja Day today, we are commemorating uh, the heroes and heroines of pre and post independence Kenya. And not only that, we have centered as a country the Mashuja Day we celebrate today based on the theme Universal Healthcare, where we're expecting the head of state to launch the scheme at the Kericho Green Stadium. It's all system go, the journalists, the people are all seated waiting for this great day. And that is where we will center our discussion this morning. I have four Mashujas who I will be introducing in a short bit. But just to, uh, just a quick one on this universal health care is that the head of state just assented to four bills yesterday just to form the framework for this universal health care uh, scheme and uh, we also be looking at those four laws i also have uh, lawyers in the house and without further ado allow me to introduce them beginning from my immediate left we have david alulu david alulu is an advocate of the high court Karibu sana. just next to him we also have another advocate of the high court and also a governance and policy analyst gibson gisore he's also university M. welcome thank you, thank you. And just next to him, we have Oscar Odiambo, Oscar Odiambo, Omondi, our apologies, who is a historian at the University of Nairobi. And just next to him, we have another public policy analyst, Arnold Maliba. Gentlemen, Karibuni. Asante. Uh, your opening statement is 30 seconds, 30 seconds uh, each. Happy Mashuja. Happy and, uh, Mashuja. Beginning from you, mm. what do you make of the day? Well, um, thank you very much for having us. Um, happy Mashuja to every Kenyan out there and um, especially to our heroes who gave their best to see that today we can sit on set like this freely and talk to fellow Kenyans. Um, it's quite an interesting day because um, we, we have four bills signed uh, by the president and um, more also trying to work on the same agenda. So. I'm looking forward to the uniqueness of um, this day moving forward because it will go down in history as a day that the president has started or opened a new chapter for our health care in, in the country. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about this mm -hmm. and looking forward to what is going to happen moving forward. Yeah. Yes. Gibson, we are so used to seeing you in uh, some polished suits. Uh, mm -hmm. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> happy Mashuja, do Gibson. This is happy, happy Mashuja day to everyone and to you, Troy. Uh, mine is to wish uh, a very good uh, celebration to every Kenyan out there. Uh, this uh, even Kenyan Spa Association. You know, there are some people who do love Kenya dearly in their hearts and they're not Kenyans. Mm -hmm. You could go to even uh, Western countries and you find uh, somebody maybe lived in Kenya or has been with a Kenyan and uh, they, they, they really feel to be part of Kenya. And whenever we celebrate, you actually find them also feeling like they're celebrating. It's akin to when the U.S. has their Day of Independence and, uh, and other things. They are, you find that they are Kenyans who do appreciate. Maybe they went and studied there. So those are the same people I would want to recognize. And then lastly, I want to recognize those people who have really contributed to something to change the face of Kenya, either in policy-wise, either in, uh, through activism, either through all sorts of things to just correct whatever situation they feel that uh, is not proper. Those uh, also are uh, the other heroes. Other than the real heroes we have known and celebrated, those are the people who also want to bring to the picture in their own right to feel that uh, they are Mashuchas of this particular day. Mm -hmm. Well said uh, that uh, we are also having a lot of foreigners also at the Kericho Green Stadium and also in Kenya to help us celebrate this day. Oscar, looking at the day, as Wakili has talked about, we do celebrate pre- and post-colonial heroes. What's your take? Uh, for me, what uh, 
first of all, happy Moshe Day, Troy, and you. to all Kenyans who are watching out there and people who are seated already at Kericho Green Stadium to celebrate Moshe Day. One thing I'm grateful about is the decentralization of these celebrations, where now Kericho gets uh, the privilege to witness a whole uh, country. Uh, diplomats and everybody going to their county to celebrate this particular day there. This is uh, happening because of our new devolution where we have 48 governments, 47 county governments plus Kenya. Now, what is most interesting to me, first of all, Troy, I'm basically a historian and a political scientist, mm -hmm. but what I'm truly really interested in is about the real definition and uh, our mostly young people understanding the idea behind Mashujade. What happened? How did we get here? Why did we have Mashujade? Why 20th of uh, October? And what is the difference between <coughs> Mashujade and, for example, Jamhuri and Madaraka Day? Because these are three very important days uh, in our calendar of events as a nation. Uh, 60 years of Mashujade. There are people who've celebrated it for the last 60 years, but still don't, don't understand. Right? So it is very important so that we look at the in-depth of that particular day because to most Kenyans it's a resting day. Mm -hmm. it. mm -hmm. yeah. so it's a long holiday. It's a long holiday. Yeah. Yeah. Some people just feel like the fact that it, uh, it, ha it comes on a Friday. So, I mean, it's a long holiday. Mm -hmm. But the meaning of Mashujade, mostly a lot of our people in the streets there don't really understand. So it mm -hmm. is important that we try to do a clear analysis so that we bring meaning to history of uh, the day Mashuja. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Arnold, uh, looking at, um, just speaking from where uh, uh, um, Oscar has left it, is that uh, this is the 10th uh, Ma uh, Mashuja day under the new constitution dispensation and away from what we used to have uh, years back, now we have themed events when we celebrate the national days and today, the theme is universal health care. What's your sentiments on that? You know, first of all, uh, I think, like uh, Mwalim said about uh, the whole idea behind Mashujade, before we called it Mashujade, of course, we used to call it Kenyatta Day. And the idea around the whole day was uh, to celebrate those uh, individuals who went out of their <coughs> way to ensure that uh, they contributed uh, immensely or substantively to what we now have today as a republic. Mm -hmm. Of course, each and every one of us has got the capacity of becoming a hero. There is a hero in all of us. Uh, it's important to actually mention that too, uh, so that then we don't just say this to make them feel good. People out there feel good that we uh, were in because again, uh, language is quite dynamic and uh, you find uh, there is a way we define Shujas differently. Those people who come home late as kids when we were young and you would be sent to go to the shop and forget and play football and then you come back at seven and you have got mm -hmm. your explanation. <coughs> we call them mashujas and everything else. Mm -hmm. But then <coughs> the story behind mashujadi is the story of our country. That uh, we have got what we love to call the first liberation. And that was to get independence, to be a republic, to determine, or rather to have a right to self-determination. We call that generally the first uh, liberation. The second liberation, of course, is embodied in, uh, in the Constitution 2010. It was the struggle for good governance. We love to make it simple and just say the struggle for democracy. And it's embodied in the Constitution 2010. But then there is something I normally say. It's the third, and in my opinion, the final liberation. Mm -hmm. In responding to your answer, uh, to your question. Mm -hmm. uh, the third liberation is in Article 43 of the Constitution. Uh, besides being in a free country like the one we have today, having a progressive constitution like the one we do today, uh, what then is left of us? Uh, to what value is it? Then it has actually to reflect in the quality of our lives. And that is where uh, there is no one who is going to promise you anything outside of what is in Article 43. And that is number one. In Article 43, that is socioeconomic empowerment, socioeconomic rights. Number one is actually everyone has got a right and then there is a list of about, I think, seven. At the top of it is actually health. That uh, we have got a good constitution, devolution and everything. And so it has to actually, it has to bring to bear some quality into how we live our lives. So there's health, there's housing, there's uh, food security, uh, there's adequate water, 
uh, there is social security, and then of course education. However much anyone would promise you in this particular country, outside of what is in the Bill of Rights, or not really Bill of Rights, what's outside of Article 10, there's not so much, even a politician will promise you during a campaign outside of this. That is uh, where we are headed. And uh, this being the 60th, uh, jam well, let me, it's 10th, yes, but we have been marking Kenyatta Day mm -hmm. and the spirit and the thinking behind the day, mm -hmm. besides uh, the branding that actually took on Mashuja, is the same. So the country has been through uh, three general bans, uh, first liberation, getting out the white man and getting our independence. The second liberation, it began immediately after independence and we realized that independence is not enough. That over and above being independent, we needed good governance. We mm -hmm. needed democracy. And that struggle began almost immediately. It took almost 50 years for us to actually get here. Uh, people have forgotten that when there were struggles in Kisumu, when there were shootings in Kisumu, when there was a fallout between the founding fathers, uh, uh, Kenyatta and Jaramogi, it was about what we eventually have in the Constitution 2010 a long struggle uh, achieved incrementally, uh, what I would call a first line uh, campaign, uh, not a surge campaign, uh, and that's how we are here. So I'm actually happy that uh, today's Mashuja Day uh, specifically picks one of those Article 43 pillars, which is health, and uh, we run with it. I hope that uh, the laws passed yesterday, uh, that then will anchor uh, the desire, the lofty promise that is in Article 43.